Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. As usual we are gonna make a top down analysis on all the majors including gold and oil. So uh, yeah while I roll the intro and disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, uh, a quick look at the calendar and as you see lots of central bank uh, news next week, uh, lots of speaks. We start uh, with uh, Lagarde uh, on Tuesday, then we have uh, Fed Chair Powell testifies, then we have VOE Governor Carney to speak, official uh, cash rate for New Zealand on Wednesday and uh, a press conference to then also again Fed Chair Powell testifies and um, RBNZ Governor Orr to speak as well on Wednesday, uh, RBA Governor Lowy to speak on Thursday to then get the CPI from the US and on Friday core retail sales and retail sales. So uh, these are the major events we have uh, on the calendar for the next week and of course uh, you have to keep um, an eye on all those coronavirus headlines which are going to be also a, a very important things to watch. Uh, we will start uh, with the Dixie and as usual here we are looking at the weekly time frame and as you see it's been a huge uh, bullish week for the dollar last week uh, with this uh, bullish engulfing candle that did close above uh, these previous highs here on the weekly time frame which is a great signal for uh, the dollar's bulls for the possible possibility of a continuation daily time frame same situation we are um, seeing a market market that putting higher highs and higher lows and we should keep following this trend so uh, dollar situation is uh, by the dips i would say the first level to to watch is uh, around the uh, 9840 uh, a uh, retest toward uh, this area here uh, this first level could be um, a possible uh, area for the bulls to buy or a retest back toward this previously broken uh, structure to then look for um, a continuation yeah so uh, keep buying the dips on the dollar this situation right now um, so even though the stock market uh, kept pushing higher despite all the negative uh, news about the coronavirus I think if the things get worse uh, the dollar is an important currency and when it is a risk off scenario if that, that would happen soon uh, that will also benefit the dollar anyway so uh, keep buying the dips on uh, on the dollar oil still looking um, weak and um, we had a weekly close uh, just below these uh, previous structures here so not the strongest break but still it is uh, looking um, weak uh, a weak market looking on the daily time frame we saw that we had a um, previously a break of this structure strong break below retest and there is a possibility for a continuation if we look left on this market you see that there is nothing on the way here until we reach the 42 50 level now we're gonna have that opec meeting that um, is scheduled a little bit earlier uh, because of this situation we have and as for now seems like um, they are panicking and they will stop the price at around the 51 51 gonna be very important level so for next week if uh, oil uh, managed to break uh, below this support level below this range look for continuation otherwise bulls need to break above uh, this previous high to then try to manage and push it higher back toward 56 area those are the levels to watch uh, short-term plays or um, scalping scenarios are at uh, this low to buy this low sell this high until you have a breakout so um, from 50 up toward uh, 51 uh, sorry 52 is the short-term uh, range on oil otherwise uh, it is uh, strongly bearish still gold if we look at gold on the weekly time frame we still um, see that 
gold managing to hold that 1550 that, that is a pretty important level and the last uh, line of defense is at around 1611 uh, up here 161150 to be more pre uh, pre precise daily time frame you see it clearly this is the range we are playing support here resistance up here those are the level to play until you see a break out of that right now on the four hour time frame we had a break below this uh, trend line and we've got some uh, retest of this level there is a possibility that we see something like this happening if the stock market to really keep rallying for no reason uh, as it's been doing and um, again we are in the mid range so uh, i do not recommend uh, trading at these levels because this market could easily continue pushing higher toward this high or make a correction back down toward the 1550 area this is the great level to look for buys this is a possible level of uh, sell any break below 1550 that will signal another move back down toward the 1520 uh, area on uh, on gold yeah those are the scenarios for this market USD week and uh, continuation to the downside is what i'm expecting if we look at the weekly time frame we have a very strong break and close below this low here and the next target should be a retest of these uh, the last low down here this is the last line of defense before we start uh, thinking about a close of the macron gap uh, down here um, this gap we've got on the french election so uh, weekly time frame showing a very strong uh, move to the downside for the bears and uh, the daily it is a lower lows lower highs a break up below the structure mean possible continuation on this market to the downside so uh, keep an eye on uh, any retest toward um, this area here 1.10 if that would be the case look for a continuation to the downside for our time frame um, same scenario here uh, lower lows and lower highs pretty strong push here so look for that uh, retest uh, to the uh, and uh, a continuation to the downside uh, if this retest happened to this structure it is pretty important area and there was uh, there will be a possible uh, continuation now uh, keep in mind that a retest will not always be something like this you see to the pip and continuation so you need to have some kind of kill zone i think anything inside this whole area here so if the the correction start to have let's say the correction start to happen next week and you're seeing this market pushing 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 just because we move higher than this does not mean it is over you i mean this uh, pretty extended leg could correct more than 50 percent and then continue lower yeah so um, do not always have in mind that a retest to this is uh, what you uh, should be looking for uh, sometimes the market uh, push even furthermore we do not know if this is the last low here yet so um, we cannot draw a, a fibonacci and say that we will short somewhere here already at 618 because this market could gap down and um, start reversing from even lower level something like this so we need to start seeing the correction happening then can we draw our fibonacci levels to that see if we have uh, confluence for that but as for now i would say this uh, kill zone could be very interesting this whole area any correction to that that give you bearish evidence you could look for continuation move on this market sterling weekly time frame same scenario uh, holding at the 200 moving average broke below uh, strongly below the 1.300 a major level broke below um, this uh, support level let me make this chart a little bigger we broke below this low below this low here as well i think the next market objective is at least to tag this low down here this swing here uh, at the weekly time frame going down to the daily now we see also the same scenario happening uh, it is a clearly broken structure broken trend line and there is nothing on the way until we reach the 1.2750 area down here is the next market objective in my opinion so even here uh, the market here is uh, also uh, sell rallies and um, i would say 1.300 is a uh, very good level to watch for that uh, retest and continuation any retest toward this area i would be looking for bearish evidence from uh, this uh, pretty important level to then look for that continuation to the downside usdjp daily time frame 
we still holding above this uh, key structure level. Uh, this was a good uh, support and resistance area looking left and it is now um, we could say it is uh, broken on the daily time frame for our time frame we had uh, this retest failed to make a, um, a lower move and bounced back up i still think this market will at least tag this previous high up here unless you start seeing a crazy move to the downside in the stock market for some reason um a panic uh, because of the coronavirus is not happening yet so uh, that uh, still uh, not showing um, any weakness yet uh, strong weakness in the stock market we had uh, a bad day on friday uh, or a bearish day i would say on friday but that that was all even though um, uh, we getting much many uh, headlines the, the market still uh, think that everything is good for some reason because um, <laughs> the the money printing i personally think this will affect uh, somehow i mean you cannot close china for so long time and do not expect uh, um, uh, trouble in the economy of the world so um, again guys keep an eye on this uh, 109.70 is a key structure as far as this holding as support we may see another bounce to the upside otherwise if we see something like this happening next week a strong break below that level a slow correction back up then we may see another bounce to the downside it is pretty open area here if that would be the case yeah but as far as we holding above this area it is to the upside New Zealand USD also uh, bearish strongly bearish on the weekly time frame you see that we have a continuation move um, not much uh, on the way uh, until we reach monthly S1 on the daily time frame we see we have uh, some structure down here that may get tested this uh, little gap now is closed and um, yeah the first thing we were looking for was break retest of this structure and continuation we had a little bit of a bounce but it failed to break back above the 200 moving average on the daily what happened was a break below the daily 200 moving average retest continuation and break below previous structure as far as we keep seeing lower lows and lower highs we should be looking to sell this market so retest toward this broken structure and continuation back toward this level at least is what what i'm expecting on this market for next week so keep an eye on that and uh, keep in mind that we do have uh, uh, on uh, wednesday we ha we have the official cash rate and the uh, press conference uh, for new zealand so that could affect this market uh, very strongly if we get a uh, any kind of surprise and uh, now the market is not expecting um, uh, any change to the rate but what we uh, need to uh, keep an, an eye at uh, or uh, listen to is if there is any change in the uh, language of the um, rbnz so that is uh, what you should be watching because um, that could um, even strengthen the situation for more downside or probably uh, put the market uh, in uh, some kind of uh, reversal move and uh, maybe more upside so uh, that is very important but structure wise you should be looking for a retest and continuation retest to this level and continuation to the downside USD chief also uh, bounced nicely here we uh, if we look at the weekly time frame we have uh, a very strong bullish engulfing uh, candle that engulfed uh, one two three four five six weeks uh, uh, got engulfed in this one candle only and uh, a close above previous high so now if um, this market uh, since this market uh, broke and close above this high it is not the strongest break there is more maybe more confidence for the bulls to keep pushing uh, above this because we had this range and if we hold above this previous high we should be looking for a continuation move to the upside especially if the euro keep moving lower so this market is um, preparing for uh, some kind of an upside move or any retest toward this broken structure at around the monthly r1 we should also be looking for possible um, major higher low and continuation to the upside so this down here is also a good level to watch for bullish evidence in case uh, the, the correction happened to that area usd cad also uh, still um, looking strong to the upside we are soon uh, at uh, previous uh, structures we testing uh, this uh, high here 
we have this high as well and a little bit uh, further another high looking left so um, this market uh, still considered to be in a sideways move any and uh, there is a possibility that you see the market testing and tagging this previous high to then start seeing maybe some uh, correction as far as oil keep moving lower and if the stock market to start um, reversing to the downside there is potentially a continuation higher here even though our expectation um, when this move happened here was to look for a retesting continuation but that continuation never happened the market kept holding these levels even though we had a short-term break below this we've got um, a reversal and uh, looking at the daily time frame we see that the market is testing this uh, key structure level this is going to be very important but i would say for the bulls uh, if you're not long already i don't think it is worth it to go long here because there is um, this trouble this trouble there is many troubles on the way uh, for the upside uh, to really uh, get um, uh, a good long trade need to see a break above all of these with a deep correction to then look for the continuation higher so next week first where the price is testing right now we should to 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 keep an eye on that area we see that the market did halt um uh three four days here and um there is a potentially um, some kind of um, uh, trouble area here uh, I will keep watching this trend line as far as the market is holding is above it the bulls will keep being in control but a strong break below that that may signal a reversal back down toward the yearly pivot point so uh, pretty interesting area where the price is testing right now looking left this is a key structure level and if they fail to make a new high there is potentially a move back down toward yearly pivot point on USD cat USD Aussie also uh, still uh, bearish uh, breaking below um, many lows here and closed at the previous low uh, looking left if this market to continue lower we see another break to the downside uh, we see that the next structure is all the way down here so uh, this is a, a strong area to watch uh, because um, the daily crows below uh, previous low but at just at this previous area so we cannot consider it really close uh, broken yet but next week if you see something like this happening another daily candle that close below then look for retest and continuation on this market that is uh, what i'm uh, what i'm uh, watching on on this one because we have another lower high and if the break happened we need to see some further down below uh, the structure for that confirmation to happen so if that would be the case and we start seeing the market going slowly like this look for the next move to the downside this uh, bad news for china will affect aussie uh, for sure and that um, could be very very negative for uh, australia and you you see it already that this market is trending lower but we are sitting at a key support level now as far as there is no strong below it we may see also a, another bounce to the upside so uh, yeah that was it for the youtube version of this um, um, overview thanks a lot guys thank you for all your support and comment and the likes keep um, hitting that like button and uh, sending those uh, comments to help the videos to uh, show up uh, for other traders uh, thank you very much and see you next week bye bye